Wood Urology and Kidney Institute and Zero Prostate will hold their first in-person fundraising event since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Here today to tell us about this special event and highlight the importance of men's health during National Men's Health Month is Dr. Joseph Wagner, a urologist at Hartford HealthCare's Tallwood Urology and Kidney Institute. Doctor, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Lisa. So tell us about the Zero Prostate Race. What is the event and who does it benefit? Sure. So Zero Prostate is the largest nonprofit charity organization battling prostate cancer in the United States. And their mission is simple. They just want to end prostate cancer. So this race is our local effort to raise funds for research, uh, support, teaching for prostate cancer patients along with their families. And we generally raise over $100,000 a year with this event. Wow, that's that's substantial. All right, so what does it mean to Tallwood and Zero Prostate to be able to hold this event in person again? Yeah, I think it's a little extra special this year. I think all of us with the pandemic the last couple of years miss these annual routine events that bring us together. And this is an important one for us and certainly near the top of my list every year. All right, how can people get involved in the events? Uh, it's simple. Uh, just go online, search for Zero Prostate. Uh, the website will come up and you can register to come, just hang out, walk, run, or donate online. But we're looking for volunteers and support. Why is it so important to bring awareness to prostate cancer? Well, prostate cancer is the uh, second leading cause of death amongst American men. It's the number one cause of cancer among American men outside of skin cancer. And the numbers really rival breast cancer. And although most men do very well with prostate cancer, there's over 3 million survivors right now alive and well in the United States, it's still the second leading cause of death. Certainly something everyone needs to be aware of. All right. How does health differ for men and women? Well, I think, you know, when it comes to health care, men truly are from Mars and, and women are from Venus. I don't think that men do as good of a job advocating for their health, seeking uh, care, and Zero Prostate is trying to raise that awareness. And I'd really love to see this event, along with Zero's other efforts, really rival what we do for breast cancer. The numbers are very similar between the two diseases, but a lot more research money available for breast cancer. I'd like to see some more money go toward prostate cancer as well, while maintaining the breast cancer efforts, obviously. All right, doctor, and as we, we're going to show the event details on our screen again once more, and as we look at these, when should men get checked for prostate cancer? Give us the basics. Yeah, so men with a family history or men who are at increase, like African-American men, should start at age 40. Otherwise, we recommend that uh, men with average risk start at age 50 to 55. And the testing is simple. It's a digital rectal examination along with a blood test called the PSA. All right, doctor, we hope a lot of people come out and participate this weekend. Hope to see you all there.